In this video, I'm going to show you how to safely install a fully working Linux Mint operating system on an external SSD or a USB drive without tossing your Windows installation or your personal files. This isn't just a live session, it's a full portable OS install that you can boot on almost any computer. I'll walk you through every step from downloading the ISO to setting up the bootloader, partitioning the disk and more. Even though this method is safe and won't affect your Windows system and your personal files, I still recommend backing up any important personal data just in case. Here's what you'll need before we begin. We'll need Linux Mint ISO, Rufus, USB drive for the installer, a second USB drive or external SSD, and a PC that can boot from USB, and also we need secure boot disabled. And in order to disable secure boot, you can restart your PC and then enter BIOS or UEFI, usually by pressing F2, ESC or delete key during boot. Then go to security or boot tab and then you can disable secure boot. Now let's download Linux Mint and create the installer USB. So for this, go to Linux Mint's website, the link is provided in the description. And click download. And choose the Cinnamon Edition. And you can pick the nearest mirror for faster download. Once the ISO is downloaded, we also need to download Rufus. So for this, go to rufus.ie. It's a very lightweight software and no need to install it. Just download it. Open Rufus. Plug in your installer USB. And now under device select your USB. And under boot selection pick the Linux Mint ISO. Set partition scheme to MBR and leave everything as it is. And just click start and confirm any prompts. Now this may take few minutes to write the ISO into the USB drive. And after it's done, now plug in the external SSD or USB drive where you want to install the Linux Mint. You can check its partition style and convert to GPT for UEFI systems or MBR for older BIOS system. In my case, I have UEFI system in my laptop, so I need GPT partition table, which is already there, so no need to convert. And if you need to convert, just open disk management and then right click the disk label on the left side and then click properties and then volumes so there you can see whether it's MBR or GPT and if needed to convert you can simply delete all the volumes of the drive and then right click in the disk and then you can simply convert it into GPT or MBR. And here also I'm going to create a free space of around 82 GB in my external SSD for the installation. Now time to boot into the Linux Mint installer. So now restart your PC. And press the boot menu key. Uh, it's usually F12, F10, delete or ESC key. So there we have the boot menu. And there you can see so many options since I already have installed so many distros in the SSD. You simply select your installer USB drive. So there we have Linux Mint desktop. So once you're there, Double click the install Linux Mint on the desktop and there we have installer. Now select your language, select your keyboard layout. Here we can skip connecting to the internet. 
and check install multimedia codecs and if you see a warning about mounted partitions just click yes to unmount them and you'll see options like install alongside these erase disk and install and something else and we're going to select this uh, the last option for manual partitioning and now carefully select your external SSD or USB drive and find the free on allocated space and there we have our 82 GB free space that we have created before and select this and click the plus button and then create a 1 GB partition and use it as EFI system partition and click again the plus sign and create a 30 plus GB partition file system ext4 and mount point root click install now and confirm any warnings now time to select your time zone and then create your username, computer name and password and now you can enjoy the slideshow during the installation and this may take a while depending upon the right speed of your SSD and when the installation completes simply click restart now you remove the installer USB when prompted and then press enter now again press your boot menu key and choose your external SSD or USB drive it's written Ubuntu instead of Mint as Mint is based on Ubuntu now Linux Mint will boot up fully installed and ready to use And now restart one more time and choose windows from the boot menu and it should load with no issues dual boot compatibility works great and before we finish here are a few tips usb 3.0 drives are much faster on performance than usb 2.0 and a full install is slower than internal drives but it is ideal for portability, privacy and testing Linux without changing your internal drive. And that's it, you have now installed a full portable version of Linux Mint on your USB or external SSD. And I hope you found this video helpful and if so please like and share the video. Subscribe the channel and turn on notifications for more Linux tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.